All right, YouTube. Today we're playing the Legacy Challenge with some Blue Red Delver. Uh, right now I am in round two, and I'm one and zero. Uh, I'm on the draw. A hand with a couple wastelands, a ponder, and an island. My opponent keeps. I think I'm going to keep my hand. There's a lot of matchup where these are spells. I have two cantrips and a counter magic. This is a hand that, like, I would likely mulligan if I knew more about what was going on. But, like, also, you can make an argument because of the new mulligan rule I should have mulliganed. Because I get better selection. Alright, so we're probably playing against, like, a depth deck. Which sucks. Alright, nice. We're still not going to fetch because it messes up further cantrips. I feel like I have to shuffle this, even though this Vapor Snag is the nut against Merit Lage. I have two Wastelands, and I just need I need a dude. Okay, there's a dude. And we have a we can we have days to back the dude up next turn. All right, well, we're going to do this because we, we're not going to be able to do it once this resolves. All right, so we are playing against a depth deck. So I'm just getting rid of this right now. I think my opponent's got a Hex Mage in their hand. Okay. Because, like, you know, whatever. Do that into Hex Mage. Opponent takes my days. I kind of just want to play Wasteland and pass. I think I'm going to do that. Like I don't want my opponent to go like Dark Ritual into and then have me fish and miss. Okay. Oh, this is like a I think there's like a name, there's like a weird name for this deck. It's like the zebra whatever deck. Oh, how does this work? I guess it doesn't. What? Forgot about this bug. Oh, I guess there's a bug on Moto. Well, that sucks. All right. Um, a little unsure of myself here. I think I'm just going to play Pyromancer. I'm gonna wait. I think I'm far enough ahead here where I just should not like screw myself. I would have liked to fetch land there. Definitely got to end a turn brainstorm. I definitely leave myself a little open here. Okay. 
We we let that go because they played a land. That's not great. I think I'm gonna play my Lava Mancer. It's just a fast, it just adds to the clock. I don't really wanna play True Name because I can go like Spell Pierce plus um, Wasteland for some Protect Shown. Okay. I fetched, I'm still there. All right, so I don't really know what is going on in my opponent's deck. But I assume that I want Surgical, Cage. I like Library against Combo Decks. And probably want Vapor Snag and like Flusterstorm. Not super interested in True Name. Not interested in Fort Bolt or Lava Man. I usually cut a land when I cut my True Names. So now we've got like three answers to Merit Lage, a boatload of counter magic. We only have seven threats, which is a little light. I could bring in I could bring in a Snapcaster Mage, because that's just something that like you know beats and wins the game. Honestly I probably could even cut another land if I if I just have nothing but two drops in my deck. One, two, three. No, I'm never fetching for basic mountain. I'm going to try this. I'm on the draw. I do love me cutting on lands. That's one of like, that's one of my things. All right. I deserve that. I deserve this. All right, I'm gonna keep. Oh shoot, I hit Mulligan. All right, that sucks. Huh. I hit keep on that one. Just click the Mulligan button. Maybe I should have bottomed my force because I'm already on five cards. I should force this because it's I kind of gambled on letting this resolve because I'm so far behind that I wanted to try to get some more like get more out of my cards. So my opponent's got it rolled up. But I think handing behind, like playing behind the spell pierce is like playing not to lose. I kind of want to draw this ponder. Then I can like go for it again next turn. And I develop my mana a little more. I don't want my top card. Shuffle that, okay. Okay. Pity Needle. 
So my spell pierce here, I at least trade for the lotus petal. And like my spell pierce isn't really doing anything else. It might pitch to a blue card. It might pitch to force a will at some point. All right. I mean, if anything's going to pull me out of this, it's Sylvan Library. I don't really want to fetch because it puts me in increments of four. And I don't know any of my other cards, so. Always yield. Always yes. The old take eight. I don't really want any of these. I just need to find a dude. Right. Okay. All right, there's our dude. Put on top. Play the over. So I'm going to have to brainstorm to flip my Delver. But that's A-OK. -okay. Oh, thank you there, M, M Adman. Um, I don't want to look at my island, I don't think. But we might be able to shuffle away like this wasteland. So I look at one bad card, but like... The spell pierce is pretty awful at this point. So let's just go like this. Flip the Delver. Fetch. We don't get to draw any more cards off of library. But like the library has done its thing for us. Second vapor snag is good. So put on top. Put on top. Crack in here. Talking about my Delverino. So six puts them at eleven. All right, um, put on top. Put it on top, just crack, and then we're gonna bolt the ever loving hell out of our opponent. Old dark depths the hard way. Should be good here. Bang. And I think we would have lost we would have lost game one if it hadn't been for the bug. Yeah. I feel kinda of feel bad for my opponent there. <laughs> 